if I'm a, a freelance creative and I and I feel like there are aspects that I'm not satisfied with, things that I could look out for in myself that might indicate that um, freelance coaching is something that would be useful for me or something that could take me to the to the next level. Like how, how might I look a little bit into myself to see that actually maybe this is something that can help? Mm. Yeah, that is a really good question. That that introspection, um, it, th- there are so many answers. I, I, I'm just trying to think what the easiest way into this could be. And I suppose it would be to write down on a bit of paper or on your, on your phone or whatever, the kind of perceived weaknesses that you have about yourself. Or if it's easier to write down all of the bad experiences that you've had or any opportunities that you feel like you've missed, any regrets that you have, you know, mm. and really examine your past and and who you are now to see mm-hmm. laid out on a piece of paper where those gaps are, where those holes are in you as a person mm-hmm. and, and in your business. Mm-hmm. And I think if you did that, that would give you a good grounding because one of the first things I ask people who are potentially interested in working with me is um, what what is it that you're looking to get out of this relationship? Like, how, you know, from working with me, where do you want to get to? Mm. And just that question mm. itself can unlock, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of stuff that may have not been conscious because you know people in general aren't taught to listen and question and sit with people sit with their hesitations and stuff even the best yeah. even your even if you've got the best partner in the world like a, you, you know your, your girlfriend or whatever like i mean my my partner she's a trained counselor so she's very good at listening and she's very good at challenging <laughs> whereas i think all all of my other relationships it's quite it sounds a negative thing to say but it's quite superficial so we don't question our friends on a deep level. And if we do, it's so that we can give our opinion and our advice, isn't it? That's what we do. We just mm-hmm. give our advice. I think that you should do this. No, I think you should do that. And <laughs> what coaching is about is really listening and not just listening, but asking the questions that can help them to see something that is there that they, that they can't currently see. And no one's trained for this in society, so no one experiences this. So to start the conversation, Alfie, I think, yeah, it starts by asking yourself those questions um, Mm -hmm. and then talking to a coach. Most coaches do, like, free discovery Mm -hmm. calls and that sort of thing where what they're looking for and what I'm looking for in them calls is, you know, enough stuff to work with and a potential breakthrough in that moment where someone goes, do you know what? You're, you're right there or you know what you've made me realize is x y and z i'm doing this because or i always do that and i would like to do this instead and when you can get to that point that's when things start to get more exciting because you, mm-hmm. you begin to realize that those patterns can be interrupted those blockers that you see right there that are getting in the way they can be moved out of the way and yeah, so it's a lot of it's about inspiration. So it's about inspiring yourself as well as asking the questions and challenging yourself. It's about getting excited again about what's possible for you. 